It has now been two months since Russia invaded Ukraine. In the time since, we have seen people all over the world stepping in to help Ukrainians, fleeing for safety, to staying behind to fight. That's right. And tonight, Denver 7's Danny New takes us to the Temple Grandin School in Boulder, where students and staff are raising awareness for Ukrainians that they connect with. April is Autism Awareness Month, and this year the students at the Temple Grandin School, who are all on the autism spectrum, wanted to raise awareness for a population that maybe you wouldn't have guessed. A lot of our kids here were talking about the war in Ukraine and worried about it. They are actually contrary to what's often portrayed in the media. They're very empathetic. So they decided this month to collectively walk 500 miles, representing the distance roughly from Kyiv to Warsaw, where many Ukrainians have fled. Specifically, they want to raise awareness for people with autism impacted by this war, who are not always considered in the long list of affected populations. Ukraine has been like a something that's really upset me to be honest. You know, I'm sensitive to noise but just by like a car horn but I can't imagine like stuff that they would be going through. They're also raising money for the JIM Foundation, a Polish organization that works with the autistic community and that has been helping refugees find their footing. And it's not just humans working on this quest. Actually, animals have been a big focal point for some of the students. <laughs> Holding a leash there is Copeland, who really loves animals, specifically hamsters. Children and teens with autism tend to have a special interest they become fixated on, and hamsters are his. In this situation, they've become a point of reference for him as he grapples with the idea of this war. So tell me about this sign, Hamster Power for Ukraine. What's that about? Um, I just love hamsters, and I wanted to give some of that positive energy to Ukraine. Hamsters are very sensitive, very sensitive ears and lungs. And I know the people in the autism community are also very sensitive, usually. And great news. While we were there, the school actually hit their goal of walking 500 miles and has since decided to expand to 800 miles, which is the distance between Warsaw and Kharkiv. But honestly, no matter how far they walk, I think they'll still feel like they have more work to do. I think it's something good for people to be aware of, just that you know there are people with autism everywhere and the smallest and the biggest things impact us really heavily. In Boulder, Danny New, Denver 7. Good job, guys. If you'd like to help these students out, we will have information on how to donate on our website for you, thedenverchannel.com.